All right, guys. This time, welcome to the real daily recap. It's uh, it's first of April. This is like a joke day in the Netherlands where people make jokes and they say, "Yeah, first of April, blah blah blah." April, April Fools. That's a word. Oh, it's everywhere. But yeah, <laughs> so I, it's not going to be a recap. No, it is. So, <clears throat> um, yesterday. Let's talk about yesterday. So we had previous daily highs. We had our previous daily low, I think. You should, yeah, previous daily low over here. And essentially, instead of taking these highs, price retraced very deep. So maybe inducing buyers with this already. And then we got the break of structure over here in Asia, then respected actually this area. It's a swing break. It's not, no, it's not really like a break of structure. It is a break of structure, but you see, a low, a high, a higher low, a high, high, and a bearish break, but just it's very intricate in that sense. And then you got that turnaround, uh, break, return, deep return to extreme uh, premium, and now we got continuation, internal range liquidity taken, and downwards. So overall, we moved just down yesterday. How do, what does it look like? We didn't take any high, so we, if I'm correct, we created an inside bar. Yep, so previous daily low, previous daily high, and we stayed inside that range, although it's a large candle. Actually, is it? Yeah. And what does it look like on the one hour? Impulse, retracement candle, indecisional candle, continuation, indecisional candle, retracement, indecisional continuation, slow down. Yeah, slow down over here, pre, pre, um, Pre-volume, so before the volume steps in. Now, I think there were some trades, actually. I saw this trade. It just hit one to three, like, literally to T. Got, like, one pipette left. So that was a nice trade. We'll break that down. Didn't take it. It's outside of my time. I didn't trade at all yesterday. And then there was another short as well. It's a bit... Not my style, but it's a nice trade. So we got a high, a low, not a lower high. Well, it is a lower high, but essentially we got a low, a high, a lower low. And then, yeah, this is a lower high. Then we get the lower low. We get the this range from this high down to this low. We can see that we reached um we reached discount a premium on that and we can actually see that we took internal range liquidity now what sits about that internal range liquidity i'm just going to break this trade down because i saw someone else take it it's not my entry style but it's a nice trade so got the pyo here you can just short from that short it like that and then put put your stop like this your entry and 3.3 3.8 so this Kind of looks like an old entry style. Love the small uh, stop loss, but the, the new way of trading is better for me. Um, now let's zoom into the one minute and see what we can read there. Actually, let's first look at the fifty minute. To read uh, the candlestick for me. So, yeah, like push down, but slow candles. Then impulse up, and then this is already where the entry happens. Of course, unfortunately, but you can see that we got the huge wick tapping above liquidity then closing far below actually closing bearish so that's like an indication that yeah we probably like 70 70 percent chance 80 percent chance that we gonna turn bearish right so <clears throat> got that and now let's look at the one hour that's yeah that's just quick trade Boom, within one hour. Now let's go to the one minute, see what we can read here. Bearish break, liquidity building up. Do we have some early sellers? We have a, like minor early sellers over here. Um, early. Hold on. Do I have any? No. 
because they're talking downstairs and I can't focus. So got that. <clears throat> then we got liquidity building up. We got internal range liquidity over here. Oh. Internal range liquidity over here. We got a trend line. This is the high that disrupted these highs, if that makes sense. There you go. Let's take this one. I think it's above. Oh, it's not. So minor disruption but disruption of highs so a high that led to a new low taken out continuation so quite strong poi and then we got the continuation trade now is there a long i think there is a long but i wouldn't long there because uh, we had this bullish range overall from this low up to this high therefore i want to wait to, for price to come below this before looking for longs but there was a long there you go. Uh, let's take the entire uh, demand block or buy to sell move. UI. I'll move this out of the way real quick. So we got this trade, right? Let's just keep it. No, no, no. That's it. It's annoying me. So we got that trade. Thing with this trade, though, is we got equals above here. Asia high and previous daily high. So I don't know why you would like to short there. If you want to, you could try it. It doesn't fit my plan anyway. Uh, I had like this in mind. The price would come in there and then that actually happened. And then we got a five minute shift in momentum. And you could look to enter from this. So this, like this, this gonna be going to be a bit messy. Mm -hmm. Now I want to see what happens. No, it doesn't provide an entry. Oh, it does. There you go. And then you can enter from this. So you give it breathing room, one pip, 93, 83. Stop loss above. So that's quite a large stop, but beautiful trade nonetheless. This is your trade from New York. 12.4. And beautiful one to four gets hit. So let's focus on this for value. You got first and then just target one to four because it's quite a large demand so it's on anyway. And that's your trade for New York essentially already. We can see we got that liquidity building up over here. Um, We got a fair value gap on the 50 minute, sorry. Value gap not completely filled yet, doesn't need to be filled, but you can essentially see we tap into the order block, we tap into our cell entry five minute wise. We got um, some liquidity over here, then we go to the one minute. Mm. Respecting this block, there's nothing really. The thing is, though, with this short, we got a high, a low, a lower high, a low, low. And we already had that return to discount or to premium for this bearish range. So this would be like counter trend. So you want to target below. You want to go break even below here. You can just take it, maybe. This is the thing with New York. That's why I don't like New York. I don't like to trade like these strange trades. But yeah, that's essentially the trade. Uh, let's look at the candlestick formations. What do they tell us over here? So slow down, actually some impulse. This is for this trade. Sorry, it's a bit messy. There you go. Impulse, one hour wise, we can maybe see more. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so we got this candle in the one hour slowing down. Then we get the wick entry, impulse down, and that's a great move. Reduce, 
continuation. You could also say like, uh, this is our bearish range. Hold up, let me. So we got a low, a high, then we break, meaning that this is our bearish range. And that we reach this count by coming into that. So our premium by with this move up, taking into a range of liquidity, then continuation down. So it's a bit messy, but I hope you see what I see. <laughs> um yeah, so let's remove that trade. And then let's dive into this trade. So essentially we have that same demand zone or supply zone. This one on the 50 minute, going to the five minute, we can see the shift uh, taking the low and price taps back in just about and hits one to three. So probably would have been a break even trade for me. So as we come below here, we do stop loss just above here, AKA there's nothing left and we just keep it. Then price comes up. For this trade, we can also see it's it's a shit uh, time to trade from. Well, it's a nice trade if you target one tree, but break, now a strong break, slow down candles, slow move away, now a slow candle and then the impulse, but it takes some time. So that's that trade. I'm not favoring shorts at all today. I don't know why. Yeah, it's keen, but I... I stayed away from the market for a reason because I already banked my profits. So I didn't want to go back and lose anything. I'm glad I didn't. That was, there was a long trade as well. So we got this 50 minute PY. Um, it's going to replay mode. Yeah, I can already see it, but nothing major, I guess. We come into the extreme. We got early buyers. Let me remove this. All right. All right, all right, all right. What is this? Let's remove this. Make it clean. We already discussed this. Make it clean. There you go. Into a range from this high down to this low. Keep it clean. Yeah, internal range liquidity. There you go. Let's zoom out again. Um, let's mark out the 50% of this range or of this uh, demand zone, sorry. Line, there you go, 50%. So we can see that we tapped into that. Or well, this can be, I'm just making it like a, how I would do it for myself. This is how I would uh, do it live. Take my time to mark out everything. Very nice. We respect this. That's all good. The main thing I'm, I like to keep marked on or on the charts is the liquidity grab. Break this count. And then we can see that we didn't take the internal range liquidity yet. Now we got one break over here. We got our early buyers over here. We can see this low, this highlight to new low. Bullish break. Early buyers. We got that liquidity sweep below that. Well, just this is just a very bearish break, but it's nice to mark out. Just like how I like when I started trading and first got introduced to smart money. This is all <laughs> everything I looked at. This break and a bullish break. So no early buyers, but early buyers is a really important thing for me now. So we got a sweep of liquidity. We got bear structure being formed, continuation. Now the break, bullish break. And then you can actually, so this is the thing with my new entry drill, which is a bit unfortunate. Back then I would have entered like this, which is actually a thing. You can actually take that, the monsoon, but yeah. And this would have given you a beautiful, beautiful one to five, I think. Uh, just let's keep keep it below that. 
Actually, hold up. I'm going to try something out real quick. 28, 23. So this would be in the trade using my old style. I don't think you get more than a one to four. So literally just took out, took this liquidity and turn around. End of the session anyway, over here already. So no entry. One minute after the session, no fail entry for me. Other way to take it is using this one. And that's almost at the same place. Here you go. So it's a bit higher, but it's a small range so you can use. Uh, so I think one pip is quite large here. 84, 94 would be here. So that would have given you even less, but it will be tech in, and then you would have 2.5, I think. Not even. But that will be my trade entry. And reduce after this. So reduce. There's no, is there a fellow? So there's no entry block more. So we can see that this is our last OB. So I will put my stop. Just below that OB. Keep it like very tight. So that will be my stop loss reduction after taking this high. And then you could see it's probably when I see this trickling down like that after taking that liquidity. You should take partials here to be fair, but just close it over here. That's a long trade. Mm, let's see what it looks like on a five minute. So yeah, swing break. Entry clean from the five minute POI there with that that uh one minute POI as well. This should be blue, sorry. Oh um 50 minute wise, what does it look like? That's oh, too minor, but you can essentially see the entry. Tap in, continuation up. So after like when you tap in. You can see that move up. So this is like if you confidence that it's probably a good trade because this whole candle consists out of wick almost. Uh, then continuation and down. Oops. So we got that. Is there another cell? So we come into this. 50 minute fair value gap. And this, oh, that's just already talked about. Already talked about that. Yeah, so that cell that just hits one to three. And then you got price coming up. Taking more internal range liquidity, giving a bullish break. Building up liquidity over here. Very good. And taking that, so tree highs taken, then you get like an instant entry short. Is there a continuation trade or a confirmation trade? No. Let's go lower. Nope. Nothing there. It essentially respects this. Do you see this way? These wicks. You see these wicks. How they close? You just pull it. What? So let's take that one and up to that one. So it essentially respects this little key zone. If we stretch it out, you can see the price. It's a nice support and resistance area. But it, it's just, it, this is just indicating that it works, but you don't need to use it. Now, stretching it even further. It's all right, but essentially we can see reaction, 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 reaction. Nice. And you got your head and shoulder pattern if you use that. You got more liquidity building up over here. Well, that's like fuel for the move down. Um, 
we had this as a target that was taken. So return to that and then continuation down. Let's remove this. Essentially, we can say that Okay, this liquidity was taken as well. And we got a bearish break. Uh, why don't I just make my screen bigger? There you go. Like that. And yeah, that's basically it. That's it. Uh, we'll see what happened. Well, what happened yesterday? Then continuation down into this. Into the deep into the demand zone, actually. So now what we want to know is nothing no we want to know how far it how deep it came so we go with this one and well percent of that and we tapped in I remove this now. Keep this one. Actually, then, because we continue it lower, I would like to take this one. There you go. yeah um yeah that's it that's basically the recap so we got shorts asia overall was a short as well so you could say i'm just gonna so we have this demand or supply from this up to this so you could say like taking the middle a little bit down but this was your entry if you trade asia stops above and you would have had a perfect like target this one Perfect four and a half, but that takes all days a huge trade, high time for the trade. Wow, interesting. All right, that's it. Peace out.